Welcome to Must See Movies Children's Edition. I'm Hannah Loind. Our first review is for the movie Home. Let's take a look at the trailer. Among an alien race called the Boo lives a lonely fellow named O. Hello! Who was just trying to fit in. I am a superstar in technology. Uh oh. But now. Arrest that Boo! He needs somewhere to hide out. Come into that out now. No. But I can. You are just having to take away the piece of wood. <laughs> this spring. My friends call me Tip. I am O. O? I has been given this name by my many, many friends. Good morning. Uh, Hi, guys. Oh. Hello. Oh. From DreamWorks Animation. What did you do to my car? It should hover much better now. <laughs> Your vehicle is infested. He's my pet. Now he is vibrating. Is he going to explode? He's on the run. Why are they after you? I has made a few mistakes. <laughs> oh, oops. He's in over his head. What is happening to my body? It's called dancing. Boo, do not dancing. <laughs> I can tell. How long before this kills me? And he's looking for a place to crash. You are a terrible driver. From the creators of The Croods and How to Train Your Dragon. Did you really think you could escape? They're here to destroy the planet. We're not giving up. Let's go. He's changing her planet. Initiating self-destruct. No! She's changing his world. Among Boov, I do not fit in. Nobody's perfect. Your mistakes are what make you human. Okay, pee break. Ooh, I too has to break pee. Reviewing our first film with me today is Sarah from LaSalle College. So, Sarah, I found it interesting that Rihanna was actually the voice of the main character in this mm -hmm. movie. What did you think of this? Right, so Rihanna plays Tip, which is the girl who's very adventurous in the movie, like we saw from the trailer. And it's good to see her in other projects like this because when we think of Rihanna, obviously um, the clothes she wears is very revealing. She's known for that in magazines and tabloids. And then she had the relationship with Chris Brown, which brought the ta her in the tabloids again. And then her music is obviously very sexual. So seeing her in this children's movie kind of brought a different market for her. So I would love to see her do other projects like this. Um, I think she did a really great role in it. So I think other producers will see that and they're gonna want her in their movies and they're not gonna be afraid of the image she had before that was kind of revealing. Yes, absolutely. And what's the message you think viewers will take away from this film? Right, so I think the two most important messages in the film are that it's okay to be yourself because the alien O, he cares what other people think about him and he's trying to just find friends and be popular and he'll do anything it takes, he'll do peer pressure. And once he meets the girl Tip, she shows him that being yourself is okay. So after a while, he sees that himself. And also because of this, it's another um, big part of the movie is friendship. And it's good because nowadays we see a lot of, um, in children's movies, just the fairy tale happy ending. So it's where the girl fall in love with the prince. And I think it's good for kids to see nowadays friendship is still very important with, you know, we're seeing a lot of bullying online. So I think this movie brings friendship, the core values of it to it. And what scene do you think will be remembered the most in this movie? Um, well, there's a lot of funny scenes, but I think the scene that I like the most would be, um, that I liked the most is the ending when O kind of like calms down, he realizes it's okay to be himself, and after that, he once he is himself, he's more actually liked by his peers, and at first he was the annoying alien that no one cared for, but once he, he's himself, they liked him. And why do you think this is a must-see movie? I think it's a must-see movie because not only is it a great children's movie, but it has something for the parents. I mean, the parents are the ones bringing them to the movie. So from the music, which is Rihanna and J-Lo in the mix into it, so it brings like music that the parents would like. And 
Um, also, just, I mean, the plot of the movie is based about friendship. I think it gives a lot of value that the parents would enjoy, too. Great. Well, thank you for that review. We're going to look at the final scores on the first film of today's program. I gave it a 9, and Sarah gave it a 10. Guess she just liked it a lot more than I did. Well, Sarah, thank you for co-hosting this segment with me today. I enjoyed your company. We'll be right back with more musty movie reviews right after this commercial break. Don't go away. The LifeWorks organization helps people with developmental disabilities lead meaningful lives in their community. Since it was founded in 1965, LifeWorks has been committed to providing service to the mentally disabled. These services include education, jobs, homes and transportation, as well as making sure these people are heard and respected. By listening to the people they serve and their families, LifeWorks can guide them to achieve their goals. Not only does LifeWorks provide these services, but also enables these people to be important members of their community. The goal of the organization is to have the people they help participate in the community. And in turn, the community participates as volunteers or supporters of the organization. If you are interested in getting involved with LifeWorks, visit their website at www.lifeworks.ma.org. The MSPCA Cape Cod Adoption Center is a wonderful organization that passionately works not only to find a happy and comfortable home, but also to give the animals the highest quality of life while living at the adoption center. One of the animals currently calling this center home is this adorable guy, Bruce. Bruce is one of the many animals at the MSPCA looking for a home. Unfortunately, the facilities are no longer large enough for this many animals to maintain the high standard the center sets for itself. To fix this problem, the Adoption Center has started plans to build a new facility that would be able to house the large amount of adoptees the center receives each year. The estimated cost of the new facilities is around $5 million, and the MSPCA is relying on donations to reach that goal. You can donate any of these much-needed items. For more information, please contact 508-775-0940. You have cancer. The shattering words that one in three people will hear during their lifetime. 14 million people alone will be diagnosed this year. Join us to create a world with more birthdays. The American Cancer Society Relay for Life is an event where cancer doesn't stand a chance of taking any more birthdays from the ones we love. How can you be involved? Start a team with family, friends, and even coworkers and fundraise and participate in any of our events in your local area. Your dad, mother, friend, cousin, co-worker, who will you walk for? Remember your loved ones and honor those still fighting by joining our luminary ceremony at any of our relay events by lighting the entire track with your personalized bags. When we walk together, we are bigger than cancer. The Relay for Life events have raised nearly $5 billion to the fight against cancer. Let's finish the fight. For more information and involvement, visit us at relayforlife.org. Alzheimer's is a serious disease. Today, there are more than 5 million Americans living with Alzheimer's. Every 68 seconds, another American develops the disease. Although Alzheimer's is no laughing matter, Hilarity for Charity was founded on the beliefs that we could laugh Alzheimer's out of existence. With support from the Alzheimer's Association, HFC sponsors charity comedy events around the country to raise money for Alzheimer's research. Through Hilarity for Charity, Anyone can create and host their own fundraising comedy event. Hilarity for Charity is even reaching out to colleges across the country to host fundraising events, like dance-a-thons, variety shows, and scavenger hunts. For more information, or to get started on your event today, visit HFC's website at hilarityforcharity.org. Or, for any more information on Alzheimer's, contact the Alzheimer's Association. Welcome back to Must See Movies Children's Edition. I'm Hannah Lloyd. Our second review is for the movie Cars. Let's preview the trailer. Quicker than quick. I am lightning. Chicks. 
up, man. Where am I? You're in Radiator Springs, the cutest little town in Carburetor County. How about some organic fuel? Take a car wash, hippie. Look, I'm Lightning McQueen, the famous race car. I love you, Lightning! I have a precision instrument for speed and aerodynamics. You hurt your what? <laughs> I know his type. Race car. I don't mean to be rude here, but you probably go zero to 60 in like, what, 3.5 years? Oh. oh. When is the last time you cared about something except for yourself, Hot Rod? Don't you big city race cars ever just take a drive? Oh, you get hip to this time it's it. Holy Porsche. Wait a minute. Do I spot a little pinstriping tattoo back there? Oh, you saw that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, how does a Porsche wind up in a place like this? I fell in love. Oh, Corvette. Hey there, Mater. You know her? She's my fiance. What? Nah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. She just likes me for my body. My guest for our second film review is Spencer from LaSalle College. So Spencer, tell us a little about the movie without Hi. any spoilers. Hi Hannah, thanks for having me on. So Cars, in a nutshell, is um, it focuses on this one character, this race car called Lightning McQueen. He's a guy who, pun intended, lives life in the fast lane. So he, uh, he thinks he's the best, he's hot stuff. He uh, always wins all the races. He's going to be the next winner of the Piston Cup, which is this big race. It's like the Grand Prix. Um, but what ends up happening, uh, he gets lost on his way to California for um, this big race for uh, the Piston Cup for the playoffs. Uh, he gets lost there, uh, finds himself in this little town called Radiator Springs. It's very different from anywhere he's ever been before. Um, he's used to this fast life, city living, you know, everything's a mile a minute. And here people are just laid back, everything's calm, slow. Um, with this movie, he kind of is forced to interact with people that he normally wouldn't interact with. Before this, he um, was kind of self-centered. He really didn't care about anyone except him. Um, so when he finds himself in Radiator Springs, he's kind of forced to... Uh, interact with people, kind of empathize more with them. So why should someone see this movie if they didn't already see it in theaters? Um, well, first of all, it's a Pixar movie, so you can never go wrong with, uh, with a Pixar movie. I, I love them. Uh, with this one, it's, it's, I feel, one that most people haven't watched. For whatever reason, it's not Toy Story, it's not WALL-E, it's not Up. Um, so I just kind of think it's, it's, a, it's a hidden gem. And why do you think it's a good children's movie? Um, it's a good children's movie because it's about cars. There's a lot of bright colors. It's not overly complex. And uh, Pixar movies, I found, have a trend of kind of being sad. There's always a depressive undertone. You know, there's Toy Story 2, Toy Story 3, um, Up, Wally. -E. Um, this one, there really isn't that. It's just kind of about a car trying to learn to not be so self-centered. He's trying to just kind of live life, not necessarily in the fast lane, to enjoy the moment and not necessarily focus only on the work or the title. You know, it's about making friends. It's about having a good time. And I think that's a big message that this movie tries to uh, translate. And why is this a must-see movie? Uh, I would definitely think this is a must-see movie because it has Owen Wilson, Paul Newman, Larry the Cable Guy's in, Larry the Cable Guy's in it. Excuse me. He plays Mater the Tow Truck, and he's just hilarious. It's he, it's Larry the Cable Guy. I just think he's very funny, and uh, he's very much a, a good comedic add to uh, this show. Absolutely. Well, thank you for that review. We're gonna look at the final scores on the second film under review today. We both gave it tens. It's a great kids' film. It definitely deserved those tens. Well, Spencer, thanks for stopping by and helping me with this review today. Stay right there. We've got one more review that you don't want to miss coming up after this break. We'll be right back. More than 300,000 children in Massachusetts live in low-income households. Many of these children don't own a backpack for school or a winter coat. These are all basic supplies that everyone deserves to have. Cradles to Crayons is an organization that helps by collecting newer gently used clothing, shoes, school supplies, and toys. 
Volunteers package the donations and ship them to places where they are needed. Last year, Cradles to Crayons provided toys, shoes, books, and school supplies to 87,000 children in Philadelphia and Massachusetts. Every child deserves the supplies they need to grow and learn. For more information, go to www.gradlestocrayons.org or call 617-779-4700. Cradles to Crayons is reaching out to help, and you can too. Friends of Boston's Homeless supports innovative, solution-oriented programs with proven track records that help homeless individuals transition from the streets and shelters to lead stable, independent lives. Friends of Boston's Homeless focus on removing the final barriers of transition that often city and state programs don't have the means to cover. The final transition, steps out of homelessness, are often the most crucial, and Friends of Boston's Homeless help make them happen. Friends supports a number of vital programs in the city of Boston that help end homelessness, including vocational training, adult education, employment services, and transitional housing. These programs and services help hundreds of people each year move beyond shelter to lead independent lives in our community. Friends also provides technical assistance and expertise in developing new transitional programs and the ongoing improvement of existing programs to ensure the current and changing needs of homeless people in our community are met. I'm Hannah Loind, and you're watching Must See Movies. Our production staff reviews dozens of movies available now on DVD, Blu-ray, and digital download. Count on us to narrow down the list and save you time by bringing you only the best movie recommendations. In each episode, you will view the trailer and get the facts for three movies you won't want to miss. Check your local listings for our show schedule and be sure not to miss Must See Movies. Your child is between four and seven years old? He or she expressed interest for any form of music experience? Looking for an alternative way for your children to discover and learn? The New Music Academy is here for you. Did you know that children who benefited a musical education showed to have better results in school? Did you know that learning about music teaches you how to perceive and comprehend emotions better? The Newton Music Academy is here to help your children get familiar with music practice and learning. Its newest program, Musical ABC, proposes two different ways for your kids to approach the formidable world of music. Interactive, short and fun classes, small groups, passionate teachers in tidy rooms, Newton Music Academy has it all. Your children will find a place where they can let their creativity flow freely. If, like us, you believe that learning music will guide your children toward better emotional confidence and intelligence, call Newton Music Academy at 617-630-0952 or visit www.newtonmusicacademy.com today. I really like that we walk at night, just looking up under the stars. It's like we're saying, even in the dark, every one of us can shine a light. We walk with the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society to help prevent and fight blood cancers. Like leukemia, it is the most common cancer for teens my age. Finding out you have cancer at such a young age is not something that we want to keep hearing. So, we walk because somebody else's life depends on it. Light Up the Night walks all over the country and help for breakthroughs in research and treatment so that people of all ages live longer, better, healthier lives. Light Up the Night brings light for patients, families, and friends. Families and communities come together to honor blood cancer survivors, as well as those lost to diseases, and shine a light on the importance of finding cures. Visit us to register now at www.lightupthenight.org or join or form a team. Make a difference. Every second counts. You're watching Must See Movies Children's Edition. I'm Hannah Lind. Our third review is for the movie Frozen. Let's first watch the trailer. Summer in the city of Arendelle. It couldn't be warmer. It couldn't be sunnier. But that's about to change forever. Arendelle. It's completely frozen. Cold, 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 cold. A real howler in July. Yeah? The land's covered in eternal snow. <gasps> really? If we don't do something soon, we'll all freeze to death. You want to talk about a problem? I sell ice for a living. Ooh, that's a rough business to be in right now. I mean, that is really 
Mm, that's unfortunate. My lady. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> Not you're awkward, but just because we're, I'm awkward. You're gorgeous. Wait, what? Hi, everyone. I'm Olaf. <laughs> Hi. You're creepy. Well, I don't want whoa, it. Whoa. No. All right, we got off to a bad start. I know how to stop this winter. Yeah. Hang on. I like fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get your feet down. This is fresh lacquer. Seriously, were you raised in a barn? <laughs> Let's go bring back summer! <gasps> Man, am I out of shape. Wolves. Stop! Whoa. whoa. Are you okay? Uh, I've got a thick skull. I don't have a skull. <gasps> oh, woo! Head rush. So cute. It's like a little baby unicorn. Now we just have to survive this blizzard! That's no blizzard! Sorcery. That's my sister! That would have been nice to know. Heads up! No. It is not nice to throw snow, people! Whoa, 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 whoa feisty I'm... pants. Just let the snowman be. I'm calm. Great. <gasps> oh, come on! <gasps> Olaf, you're melting. Some people are worth melting for. You're just maybe not right this second. <laughs> Those are my legs. Oh, hey, do me a favor, grab my butt. Oh, that feels better. Reviewing our third film with me today is Jenna from LaSalle College. So, Jenna, what is this movie about? So, Frozen, it's a children's film, and it's about two sisters, and their names are Elsa and Anna, and uh, Elsa is the queen of Arendelle, and they were having a coronation ball for her, to try to find her king. Um, their parents passed away, so now she rules the kingdom. And while they were at the coronation ball, her powers went crazy and scared um, everyone, and they didn't know about her powers in the first place, and either did her sister, because an incident happened with her sister when they were very young, and she forgot about it. So it kind of freaked everyone out, and she ended up freezing the whole town and putting a spell on it. So what had to be done was an act of true love had to was the only way that the spell would be broken. So basically the whole film is about finding that act of true love to unfreeze Arendelle. Exactly, and so when Elsa went off into the castle, why did she unleash the snow monster on her sister when she came to find her? I think that she didn't like unleash the monster to hurt her sister, but also I felt that she was scared that she was going to hurt her sister again. So in a way that she was unleashing like, the monster to get everyone away to know like I'm dangerous, I can't control my powers. So I think she was kind of doing it as crazy as it sounds in a helpful way because she didn't want her sister to end up getting hurt again by her. Right, and why exactly was it that Anna had to forget her sister's powers? She didn't know she still had them. I think because she was so young and the incident happened when they were playing when they were younger. Um, Elsa was doing her powers and making snow mountains and her sister was jumping on them and her sister went too fast and she ended up striking her sister in the head which is why she has that white strip on her hair that she has no clue where it's from. So I think in a way they were doing it to protect her sister because she was so young and because as well as the parents passed away. So I think it was just kind of like a family secret. And why is this a must-see movie? I just feel like this, well, the, first of all, the ratings went crazy and it's all little kids just sing over and over and over again and it's weird they can't live without it now. Um, the ratings were very high and I just, the message of the story was really cute. It was more of like, finding true love like but with family instead of like oh it always being a boy like the act of true love was just the sisters hugging each other and the whole time you would thought it was going to be one of the boys so i thought that was really cute i agree well thank you for that review you're welcome let's take a look at our final scores for our last film of the broadcast we both gave it a 10 this is Absolutely. actually my favorite disney movie <laughs> so i thought it deserved that 10. well jenna i appreciate your help with me on today's segment i enjoyed your company and thank you for watching Must See Movies. I hope you enjoyed the show, and we'll see you next time. The Greater Boston Food Bank is the largest hunger relief organization in New England and among the largest food banks in the country. Last year, we distributed 48 million pounds of food, enough to provide healthy meals as to as many as 600,000 people. One in nine people in our community are food insecure. 
the Greater Boston Food Bank, along with your donations, can help make sure that this Thanksgiving, children and their families can enjoy a beautiful Thanksgiving dinner. The Greater Boston Food Bank's mission is to end hunger here. Our objective is to distribute enough food to provide at least one meal a day to those in need. Help our neighbors and families in this season and donate at www.gbfb.org. Together, the GBFB and you can help end hunger in Eastern Massachusetts. In the United States, schools have cut up to $2 billion in local sports and physical education programs. This has caused obesity, violence, and academic failure in children today. The mission at the Lieutenant Jim Pagano Foundation is to make charitable grants to individuals, groups, and or organizations that improve the quality of life for children, foster character building, and a strong foundation for their future. Originating in Cranston, Rhode Island, the foundation has awarded a $2,500 grant to Cranston High School West for them to have their first boys lacrosse team, and also awarded $1,000 to the Cranston High School West math team. Lieutenant Jim Pagano was very passionate about the development of his own children and the Cranston community. He encouraged excellence in the classroom and on the playing field. Please visit jimpaganofoundation.com to make a donation and find out how it can help the children in your community today. The Music and Youth Initiative is a nonprofit organization that brings music to children across the United States. The program wishes to offer a safe place for children to grow and learn, away from drugs, alcohol, and violence. Music and Youth provides music lessons to children ages 10 to 18, as well as provides recording lessons and studio space for young artists. The Boston Music and Youth Initiative works with the Berklee College of Music and local boys and girls clubs to bring music to the youth of Boston. Music and Youth wants to motivate and empower children through music and usher in the next generation of musicians. Interested in getting involved, donating, or enrolling in the program? Visit musicandyouth.org or call 617-435-6313. Music and Youth, changing lives one note at a time. Alzheimer's is a serious disease. Today, there are more than 5 million Americans living with Alzheimer's. Every 68 seconds, another American develops the disease. Although Alzheimer's is no laughing matter, Hilarity for Charity was founded on the beliefs that we could laugh Alzheimer's out of existence. With support from the Alzheimer's Association, HFC sponsors charity comedy events around the country to raise the money for Alzheimer's research. Through Hilarity for Charity, anyone can create and host their own fundraising comedy event. Hilarity for Charity is even reaching out to colleges across the country to host fundraising events, like dance-a-thons, variety shows, and scavenger hunts. For more information, or to get started on your event today, visit HFC's website at hilarityforcharity.org. Or, for any more information on Alzheimer's, contact the Alzheimer's Association. <laughs> 